It's cataractcoach.com. We've got a case here where the cataract's already moved. An aphicic guy now filling the capsular bag with cohesive viscoelastic. And now we're going to load our lens. So we're loading up a monofocal lens, a three-piece acrylic lens. And we're going to follow the manufacturer's instructions exactly. So here's the cartridge. It's a B cartridge, B like boy, and you see that has a little peg at the end. That peg is to help hold the haptic of this three-piece lens. So there's the three-piece lens, looks fine. We'll grab that lens, and we're going to load it up. So we'll watch the whole video of this. There's the three-piece lens. We're holding it very gently. These are non-tooth forceps. We're not going to leave a mark. Leading haptic going in. There comes the optic. Goes in there fine. Pushing it down. Trailing haptic over that peg. This is the correct way of doing it. That looks good. Let's click it into the injector system. Beautiful. Advance it. Looks good. That looks great. And now... Let's put it inside the eye. So again, zooming in on the eye here, the capsule bag has already been inflated with cohesive viscoelastic. And here comes the lens. We're going to fixate the eye with the chopper initially just to get the injector tip there to the incision and start delivering the lens. This is a wound assist technique. This is why um, the eye is moving nasally. That's going in the eye. What do you notice? Uh, that leading haptic's not in the correct orientation. Let's stop and fix that. So we'll go in here with that other instrument, fit, put it into position. There we go. Just like that, we reposition the lens. Haptics are confirmed to be in the correct anti-S configuration. Let's dial in the haptics nice and easy. Here comes one haptic. Rotate the lens around. Let's get the second haptic. And the second haptic you see right there is on top of the iris. We don't want that. So let's rotate it again. And we got to get the second haptic in the bag. Beautiful. And the entire lens now is in the capsule bag behind the capsule X, which overlaps it. Let's remove our viscoelastic. Go inside the eye. Go underneath the lens. All the viscoelastics removed from the back surface. Go in front of it. What are the lines on the eye? Well, look carefully there. In that paracentral region, you see some linear lines. What are those? Well, these are cracks on the IOL or sl slight fractures of the acrylic material. This is a hydrophobic acrylic material. This is a hyperopic eye. That's a very high lens power. And it's a very tight fit in the injector. And this is a known issue that can happen rarely, but it does happen. We can have these slight cracks here or fractures within the acrylic material. It's in the optic. You can't remove this. And the question is, do you live with it or do you exchange the lens? And in this situation, we're going to see how the patient does. And if the patient's asymptomatic, we're great. If there's a problem, we'll exchange it in the future.